Next is the part 2 of this video. I will show you where we can test the ocean commands. And usually we can test our ocean command in the virtuoso, virtuoso command interface window here. And um, for this series, I use a very simple schematic because I want to focus on how to use the ocean command rather than complicate things. So here you can easily see that we have a uh, resistor divider circuit, very simple one. You have voltage source to resistor and we will start to measure the voltage output at this node. And as you can see that we have uh, set three parameter VPP, R1 and R2 in case that you don't know what does it mean parameters in cadence please also watch my previous video I put that video in this video description check it out if you want to find out how to normally use the parameters or use parameters for simulation in cadence it's very useful and then we will s normally set up a uh, mesh file the simulation file I already set it up here this is the uh, voltage signal at this if you can see that will be the voltage signal of this one and when we check the other side of the mesh file the simulation file you can see that I set up the uh, values for those parameters and after set it up everything we can just run it normally before testing any commands in the um, the virtuoso command interface window we need to have a reference a simulation reference result in order to check what we are doing in the command interface window so now if we check out the result we can plot everything out this is uh, more than what we need but we can easily check we input one volt so we have uh, set what did we set for R1 and R2? We set R1 and R2 to be equal. So the output will be half of the input voltage. So if we put like 1 volt over here, we should have 500 millivolt output and it's correct. If we put 0 0.5, then we should have to 0 0.25 volt and it's correct. So that's how we check and we will get our reference ocean from this simulation. Well, okay, I will put name is like this. If you have not watched the first video, please check it out because this one is only the reputation of what I did in the very first few episodes of this series and if you go through you can see there are many stuff there are some stuff that might not be too relevant in this series yet so we can easily just delete them it doesn't affect much so for example I know that those are not relevant much so I will delete them not relevant because those are set up by the default B and here if you check the reference the ocean reference you will know that this is how we set the value for our parameter R1 we, we will test them out and I will show you where we can test them and I just delete things which are not necessary yeah so 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 sorry for wasting time but yes those are the very few commands relevant to our case so we can control s to save our um, ocean script and now let's check we can now just close our mesh file oh it's fine it's fine that we can just close the window now let's check what do we have here Oh, that's good. Now we can test our 
command, ocean command in the let's call this one the command window and then you just need to copy paste okay so it gives you the result good it means the command works well the command that I just input into the command window is to choose which simulator we want to run so the simulator we want is the spectra simulator and if you pay attention this is where we define which schematic we want to run the simulation on and where is the schematic? The schematic is in the library YouTube and in the cell view resistor divider and the schematic that we want to refer has the name schematic we press OK and it gives the result it means the command runs successfully and then we set up the DC analysis just like we set up the DC analysis in our Mestro file we can just press OK and if you can see the T at the end it means the command also runs successfully and the output is nothing the T here is only maybe meant true to indicate that the command has been run successfully and for this design variable this command it means we will assign a value to our variable R1 and that variable is already defined in our master file right in our schematic so this is how we assign a value to a parameter that we set in our schematic and similarly we will do the same thing for R2 and for the input voltage we will also just copy paste from the ocean script and put into our command window but however I won't do things like this one because I just want to test one value so we can easily see if we input one volt at the input and we have two similar resistor so the voltage at the output that we are interested in should be one half of our input voltage so the output voltage that we want to see is 0 0.5 now let's set the value of the input voltage first and after that we need to run our s simulation so this one is like we indicate that we want to choose the DC analysis but we have not run yet now we press this command run you can test out this um, command going just going to this ocean reference you go to the part simulation commands it contains all of the commands related to the simulation of our electrical circuit and if you read through it you will know in order to run a analysis we need to run this command there will be example here you can even just click and run they will give you all of the description everything in order to understand what are those things stand for of course we need to read through the very first few chapters they even give the uh, examples very useful in order to understand what is described in the description and after we run we need to get our results in order to get our results we go back to the ocean reference again and we go to the part data access command where they show everything that we should run in order to get our results because I already read through them so I know that uh, to firstly we need to select our result there's also some command in order to find the help let's run this result select result and they say select result is undefined function because I mistyped the command so we just need to fix it and they say the warning is really easy to follow if we want to know why it doesn't work we just need to type in this ocean help or we can just copy paste cop control C and control V here however you can try it out yourself in this case I will just go directly to our problem so now I already select the DC operating point that I run from this analysis 
and in order to know what are the outputs that I can print I just need to type in outputs those are the outputs that I could print and what are the parameters of those outputs I just need to type in output params you also can check again the description of those commands in ocean reference of course in the data access commands section and we press output com parameter of which component okay let's say if I type in net2 they give me new it means nothing so if I want to get the value of that net2 I just need to type in this command PV and the component is net2 and because the parameter of this component is nothing when we check here so we just need to input new which is nothing so it's one because net2 defined the input voltage how could I know that the net2 is the input voltage um, maybe we can control set in here to show you something you can say that the project directory is in this directory in this folder and in this folder it will contain the netlist of our schematic the netlist of our resistor divider schematic so we just need to follow that directory and we open this one the netlist of that resistor di divider that we are doing dealing with so uh, this is the directory if you you if you understand that one means the home directory all of this directory stands for home directory and my home directory I just need to press home and I will be the home directory and I find the no backup folder in this one I know that is in the YouTube folder resistor divider metro file and go to the results go into any kind of interactive interactive folder contains the results when we run it in the metro file if you remember it we, we can choose whatever and then we go to this folder PSF where it stores all of the results and also the netlist file you can see this is the netlist and we see the any file with the extension dot SCS means the netlist file so we can just um, right click and we open in a text editor you can see all of the information related to our schematic and here is the netlist uh, if you want to understand the syntax of this netlist you can also google and type in the spectra netlist there will be official reference about it but if this is out of the scope of this video I just want to show how could we know what is the net2 what does it mean net3 so net2 is the connection of the voltage source one connection to the R1 and the other connection zero means connected to ground so this is the ground this is the ground and net3 in this case will be our output so our input because we set sorry let's go back to the command interface because we set the input voltage to be 1 so the input net net2 should have the value 1 and it's correct now if we check the net 3 how much is it the net 3 is 0 0.5 so it's correct this is the output of our resistor divider and uh, this is the end of the video I hope that is useful if you find that the video is useful please give me a like or subscribe or if you have any comments Oh, sorry if you have any comments please give it in the comment section of this video anything wrong I also open for your comments I will show you how to put everything that we test in this command interface window in a script so we can run all of the commands in just one command line when we load the script see you in the next video thank you so much and goodbye